There is a manuscript page over here that I completely and utterly missed. Let's not do that. Ideas to get as many as we can. Deputy Mulligan tuned Thornton's chatter out. He didn't think writers were particularly useful people, and a huge manhunt for one stuck hey. in the attic. Certainly not worth the missed opportunity for coffee and pie. It wasn't even clear what the man had done, except run from them at the trailer park. Mulligan knew he wasn't alone. The sheriff's patience with the Fed was running out. Fuck you, Mulligan. Fuck you. Now we can figure this out. And we're actually going to check up here because I think there's a coffee thermos somewhere. Possibly. Could very well be wrong. Which is not news to anyone. And I'm wrong. Okay. Well, whatever. Those are some sturdy corn stalks. Jump. Hey, I think Alan Wake here has something to say. Uh, what's that, Al? Ooh, I'm Alan Wake. I'm always right about everything. And if I don't get my way, I'll sulk all day long. I'm always intense and moody. It makes me very attractive and mysterious. Barry. Right now, I'm just Shotgun. I need my best friend to carry me. But that's okay. I can just take him for granted. I think I see what you did there. Yeah, it was pretty good. You want me to do my imitation of Barry Wheeler? No? Thought so. Dick. See? Problem solving. That's why I'm useful and you're not. Wow. That is a you boat. That's that really awesome. All out with this Viking crap, didn't they? Seems like it. Look at all this stuff. They must have done okay. See? Don't want to listen to you. We all spend a third of our night dreams in its soft embrace. Somewhere between memory. fantasy and Hey, oblivion. remember when I got you that gig? No. Dreams First real writing job. What got you started? Life. Was this one of your episodes? Let's see. Probably not. Tonight's episode. The Dream of Dreams. Door opens. Eh, that's by someone else. Alright, not to watch it then. We're done. We join Mr. Jones. He explores the ends of the... And there's a coffee thermos. Oh, of course, you give me hunting rifle ammo here. Just right, this shotting rifle. Fuckers. Alright. No. Isn't, isn't nope, it's my dream. That's pretty harsh. The in the was a dream, and... It's 1976. Madness reigns at the Anderson farm. Contrary to all logic, the headiest ingredient of their moonshine is unfiltered water from Cauldron Lake. Makes sense. The Andersons feel like gods. Odin can't stop laughing. He contemplates cutting his eye out. Tor runs across the field, naked, shrieking, hammer in his hand, trying to catch lightning. Their songs have power. Something ancient is stirring in the depths, coming back. Well, it was in 1970, so I guess we can't really hold them to any standards. The Viking boat looked imposing, almost like a battering ram. Oh, is that a clue? Is it we should use it as a battering ram? Wow. What the hell is that light coming from? It is way too fucking bright. Whatever. The Old Gods of Asgard, the 1975 Ragnarok Rock Tour. 
Ragnarok tour. There we go. Be all by Celestial Wrath and Fury. Ah, the income in Pennsylvania. I don't give a shit. Tell you ho! No? There we go. See? Again, me being useful, you not being useful. Now my face. Oh, what? 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 You were in such a hurry before. Uh, never mind. Two for one. Of course, they all attack me. Barry is down here just sucking his thumb or something. How would you know? You're wearing a track jacket. When was the last time you did anything? I think we can make it through here, Al. Oh, they got a friend here. All right, now we can make it through here. Where'd you go? Fucking Barry, where did you go? Being useful back here? Nope. Oh, nah, being useful. Hmm. Barry, where are you? Oh, we should at least pick up some shotgun ammo over here. Point in leaving that behind. Is this supposed to be nighttime? Why is it so goddamn bright? Don't touch your electric wire. They hurt. Look, it's that chair again. Got my face. Jeez, you guys suck. I want to charge for a little bit. Barry, did you fucking leave me? Let me stop doing that. It's one of these days I'm just gonna leave your ass there. I ever had an agent. Get out of her truck. That guy didn't hurt me. <laughs> I was pretty sure he was going to. Going on. It's nice still. You know what, Al? If we make it through this alive, I'm gonna start representing them. Yep. No. Sell this stuff online, maybe get a reality show going, release a new single. Good luck with that, pal. Barry, do you even hear the words coming out of your okay? mouth? I'm gonna take a closer look at this stuff. The door right. was barred from the other side. I'd have to find another way. Was there no yeah, there was no way. It's here. Open. Stop me. What's wrong with you? Be careful, Al! Ah, uh, see, now you just changed me, asshole. Appreciate that. I don't know why you gotta be such a dick. There's gonna be something up here trying to kill me, because you gotta open your big freaking mouth. See? 
I'm good. Keep your eyes open, okay? I hear footsteps. It does have a little mouse. As you regular listeners know, I tend to work through the night, but I'm not the only one. Deputies Mulligan and Thornton are taking a couple of moments off their busy schedule to join me here in the studio. Boys, oh, busy Mulligan, the, the dick. Fest is Who hates writers? I, I bet that keeps you in business. Pretty busy, yeah. Actually, Pat, we've been real busy with other stuff. Which concerns an ongoing investigation. We can't talk about that, Thornton. I wasn't gonna say anything. I, I'm just saying we got, you know, other irons to fry. And how would you compare your workload to last year's? Things have seemed relatively peaceful to me, but people do tend to get a little wild this time of year. Oh, it's wild, Pat. It's pretty wild. There's been all sorts of trouble this year. Vandalism, fighting, public disturbances. A lot of people gone missing, too. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's pretty much the uh, usual stuff, Pat. Uh, people gone missing you know, as usual? Really? A lot more of it. Now, is it just me, or does Deerfest get wilder every year? People real seem party. to be more drunk, at least, or they start earlier and younger. Oh, it's definitely not just you, Pat, but... Definitely, Pat. Hey, I'm talking here, Thornton. Uh, oh. Oh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. Where's the surprise? Just me. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, it's wilder, Pat, but actually most of the trouble seems to be coming from the grown man. People who ought to know better, you know? Well, that's nice to hear at least. Boys, I uh, call I could see the building that had to be the Anderson's home on the other side of the field. It wasn't far now. I wasn't worried about trusting the ramblings of two burned out geriatric wrecks. They had the goods. Yeah, it's called the moonshine. Alright, I have all four. Well, this thing seems foreboding. That she comes alive and tries to eat me. You've got to be kidding me. No. I saw it coming, big guy. Hold on, guys. Take care of this, and then we'll take care of you. That's useful facts, I guess. Thanks for sharing. Probably headshots do nothing to these guys. will be useful, I'm sure, at some point. I 
flickering lights starting to mess with my eyes, though. So that's not good. Gonna go behind one of these days. Uh, Al? Is that you out there, buddy? No. Yeah, it's me. But yeah. Hey, let's go, man. Apparently, I cut off their audio thing. Want to want to push? We're gonna have to work together to open this gate, Al. Or it's just me? Heavy. No. Hey, I think that's the farm on the other side of the field. Really? There. You saw it all by this yourself. Farm is a crazy place for crazy people. We should well, feel right at home then. Exactly. Come on, one more gig. Let's do this thing. Again, you're not helping. That looks like a problem. Gods know the truth. Pretty cool house. Just trying to think if there's something back here or not. I don't remember. Did you go inside already? Jesus, Barry. You get eaten by a Gru, it's not gonna be my fault. The lights are out. I guess we better check the fuse box. Oh, well, never mind then. Rock out! No, we're not gonna examine that just yet. I like their fireworks. Refrigerator sucks, and they have a coffee thermos here, which always is nice. Probably been there for about 20 years, but it's fine. Move out of the way, Barry. I swear to God, I'm gonna shoot you. Nice little grandfather. Barry! You're a dick. I'm starting to hit you a little bit. Apparently, they like their coffee. Okay. You know, this place looks kind of lived in. I thought the Andersons were in the booby hatch. My guess is they probably broke yeah. out quite a few times. I don't think they keep too close an eye on them at the See? clinic. They seem to slip away a lot so they can get wasted. No kidding! Those guys sound awesome. Oh, they are. They are great men. Again, Alice's screams rang in the stillness of the night. I saw myself run toward the cabin, flashlight in my hand. I followed my past self. I was an out-of-body observer, a time traveler in a crazy drunken dream. This was the beginning. The night Alice had disappeared. The mystery of what had happened during the missing week was about to reveal itself. And then he woke up. Which is really just on, frustrating. Let's get the lights on, huh? Barry, why don't you do something? Like, be useful. Instead of expecting me to do it all. 